Hello class, I'd like to create a video to help answer uh, this problem that deals with probabilities. Uh, so we're given um, 26 tulip bulbs, 12 are red, 8 are yellow, 6 are purple, and it looks like we pick two bulbs randomly without replacement. So it says, what is the probability that two bulbs selected are both red? So the probability that the first one is red would be 12 out of 26. And the probability that the second one would be red would be 11, right? There'd only be 11 red after we pick one, and there'd only be 25 bulbs left, right? So this is the first pick, 12 out of 26 is my probability. And then my second pick, if I've already picked one red, there's only 11 left. And if I made one pick already, there's only 25 total bulbs left. So we get 0 0.203. Check answer. Nice work. Now it says, what's the probability that the first is red and the second is yellow? Okay. So the probability that the first is red is still that 12 out of 26, right? 12 red out of 26. But now the second one has to be yellow. So there's eight yellow bulbs out of now instead of 26 I'm going to say 25 because right? we've picked one bulb and we get 0.14148 when we round. Check answer, well done. What is the probability that the first bulb is yellow and the second is red? I think it's still going to be the same probability, right? I think it's still going to be 0.148, right? Because all we're doing is just switching the order, right? The first is yellow would be 8 out of 26, and the second is red would be 12 out of 25. I'll, I'll, I'll type it up, right? 8 divided by 26, right? That's 8 yellow out of 26 bulbs is my first pick, and my second pick would be the red, which would be 12 out of 25. Right? So this is really the same problem, except we switched the denominators, but that shouldn't make a difference. Check answer. Great job. Now, is the subtle word change here. Right here, there was order, right? It was first red, then second yellow. Or first red, then second red. Now we're saying, what is the probability that either the first or second is red, and the first or second uh, is yellow, right? So if I pick first one's red and the second one yellow, that's okay. Or the first one yellow and the second one red, that's okay. So essentially, if we add these two probabilities, we're guaranteed to have one red, one yellow. And we don't know what the order is going to be, but um, we add uh, 1.48, right, uh, 0.148 plus 0.148. If we add those two probabilities, we get 0.296. And we get the fantastic. Let's check out the next question, number nine. It says, uh, suppose there's a 20.5% probability that a randomly selected person age 30 years or older is a smoker. All right, so the, the, the chance that someone that's 30 years or older is a smoker, uh, probability is 20.5%. And it says there's an 18.5% probability that the randomly selected person 30 or age, uh, age 30 or older is also a male given that he or she smokes. Okay, so basically men and women age 30 or older, 20%, 20.5% chance they smoke, and uh, an 18.5% chance that the person who is 30 years or older is a male, given that he or she smokes. So essentially we're going to multiply these two probabilities uh, to determine the probability that a randomly selected person age 30 or, or older is male and smokes. So I take out my calculator. And I'm going to do 20.5 as a percent would be 0 0.205 times the 18.5 percent. I shrunk my calculator. Right, eight up. Oh, 18.5 percent as a decimal is 0 0.185. Right, you got to move the decimal two places. Went once, twice, just like we did here. Right once, twice, and we press enter, and you get 
zero three eight when we round. Point zero three eight, and it says, "Would this be unusual?" I'm going to say uh, yes. Right? Anything less than five percent is considered unusual. So this is three point eight percent. So I'd say yes, this is unusual. So I hope that helps with these questions. Thank you for watching.